Okay, what's up? It's been a minute since I looked at the camera and I just wanted to take you on a tour of my garden. And right now I'm coming in and I hear the green jay. That's him. They have such beautiful sounds. So I'm gonna make a little video of the relationship of the birds and the animals and the wildlife that I see on a regular basis here. There's the green jay. Well, there's, there's a lot in here right now. So I wanna share with you some of the things that I see on a frequent basis. And I just can't help looking right now. In front of me is one of the most amazing birds I've ever seen in my entire life. And anyway, so this video is gonna have a couple of little birds. And, and in the background, you can see this is, well, have a look. It's like this tropical paradise. This is the green jay. It's one of my favorite birds of all time. And I just, I just am so lucky to be here right now. I'm using my US R6 with a adapter. Turn the fucking microphone. The garden that I live in has a perimeter that is a corner lot. Uh, this is one of the things that is special because when you come here, you don't really, from the outside, sense the urgency that these animals have when they come here to stay here. And that's why I have these animals. So, one of the things uh, about my garden is, and specifically, this. Okay, so I want to show you this. This cat right now, where's she at? Right there. She wants to get in the hammock. She wants to go to the hammock. So watch this, watch this. You want to go? Let's go. Watch this. I swear. She wants to go. Come on. You want to go? Let's go. Is that crazy? But that's what it is. All right, so one of the details about this garden that I love is that it rains. And it rains a lot. So much so that I decided to install a couple of rainwater capture tanks so I could help plant and fill this garden. That's some coffee plants right back there. There's 20 of them from Chiapas, from seed. And I water my garden with rain water. So I have a lot of rain. This year has been a pretty epic year in the Riviera Maya for rain. So one of the things that you're gonna see in my videos is rain because I love the rain. So here's a couple shots of the rain. Okay, so I just wanted to explain a little bit about some of the birds that you're, see, you're seeing here and some of the things that I'm doing to bring them in. And right here I have a handful of peanuts and some almonds. And I also give the birds tortillas. They're pretty affordable. I don't eat tortillas, but the birds love them. So do the Sorekis. Um, but generally what you're gonna see every single day in my garden is a local endemic species. And they love the peanuts. They absolutely love them and they're all here right now those blue ones so those are the local endemic mayan jay some people call them that they're also they're, they're called the yucatan jay and you won't find them anywhere else in the world except for the yucatan peninsula 
They live here in families. They absolutely love and expect the peanuts every single day. So there we go. Um, you can see how they're just waiting. And they absolutely come when I call them. I mean, I, I do, usually do a little bit of a whistle. And if they're just nearby, they'll come by and they know it's time. And they're fighting over peanut right over there. Uh, it's a pretty lively garden. And these guys are pretty much the backbone of why. I started to try to feed the birds and in one of my projects of feeding birds what I decided to do early on was create feeding stations so I have a hanging feeder and several wooden platforms like perches throughout the garden to incite them to come in and there's also a lot of natural hanging perches like this vine right over here there's a lot of there's a heliconia there's a lot of plants that palms that look beautiful when the birds land on them which allows me to make beautiful photographs while they're visiting my garden and they come and they stay these guys will stay here all day and they know that i'm tossing these peanuts and they're all they're all here there's probably 25 birds here right now and they all know that that it, breakfast is served basically so i built these legs to raise up this feeder because these little ground guys were finding their way into it and this is attempt and he failed he knows i'm here because i was shooing them out this is these feeders are for the birds but the serekis or the agoutis were jumping up in the old one i also enjoy these chimes and the birds land on this hanging one and, and creates a little bit of added movement and i mean this one's jamming right now because the wind is blowing it's a little bit bigger. A cup of with the sound of the cat in the hammock, the doves that are above us, and all these wild species of birds that are just popping in here right now for, for a bite. It's kind of a symphony. It's a pretty cool symphony. Wouldn't you say? Hey buddy. Will you give me a symphony? They have a beautiful song, these woodpeckers. I think they're called the red-fronted woodpecker. I could be wrong. But who knows there's goods to be had every day. Right, buddy? There's the sound. Feeding station is working. The other big loud bird you hear in the background is the male um, grackle. He's a big noisemaker. Okay, so if you've managed to stay to the end, um, thank you for watching all of this. And if anyone is interested in seeing a little bit more, it would be awesome if you could use a comment to say, my favorite bird was, or my favorite thing was when you interact with this video because i would love to share more if you want to see more and just to close there's a couple things that i wanted to uh say that there's also been visited my garden and i don't have a video but i was very lucky once to have uh toucans visit the garden and they were hopping around trees and eating berries and i caught the movement of the berry flip in action the way they were feeding on the berries which was awesome I haven't seen them in a while in my garden but they've been here uh, another visitor that's kind of frequent is the green iguana and there's been a couple recently that are chilling in the trees or right outside my shower door and I'm talking to, they, they're pretty comfortable okay so this guy he just showed up just now he's pretty ridiculously big you see there's like a leaf cutter ant in the background and he's just chilling this guy he's like what's up so I got a couple shots of iguanas and uh, a lot of other cool little species like the woodpecker, the great kiskadee, and what else? The, well, I don't know, there's a lot. So I can share another video if you'd like. So let me know if you can put a comment or like the video, it really helps. And uh, if this is a YouTube, I would love for you on the YouTube to like subscribe down here pretty please. And uh, I can make some more videos, awesome. Thank you for hanging out to the end.